Let's bring in the SEC chair, uh, Gary Gensler. Uh, chair Gensler, appreciate your taking time with us and uh, your willingness, hopefully, to move through so many of those important topics. And with that, let me start with uh, last week in crypto and this week. Of course, you talked about it yesterday in your testimony uh, in terms of answering questions as to whether some of these tokens should be regulated as securities. Last week, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of um, Coinbase, had some pretty point, uh, pointed things to say in a tweet. And I'll read the middle one here. He said they, and the they is you, as in the SEC, refuse to tell us why they think it's a security and instead subpoena a bunch of records from us. We comply, demand testimony for our employees. We comply and then tell us they'll be suing us if we proceed to launch with zero explanation as to why. Love to get you to respond to that. Um, thank you for having me on your show. It's always good to be back. Um, look, we have uh, a set of investor protection uh, laws in this country, a basic bargain that was laid out in the 1930s, where Congress wanted to protect the public against fraud and other uh, bad actors. Investors get to decide what to invest in as long as companies make full and fair disclosure. Now, in those laws, there's a very broad definition of what is a security. In fact, it has like 35 different subparts to it. And the reason Congress did that is they really wanted to protect investors against that fraud that can come up in the capital markets. And so cryptocurrencies has come along. I think the laws are clear, the case law, the Supreme Court's weighed in on this multiple times, uh, and that many of these tokens uh, do come under the securities laws, and to the extent that a platform, a lending platform or a trading platform, whether centralized or so-called decentralized, and I say so-called, uh, has securities on it, our uh, investor protection uh, regime is there to protect the public. I think the public benefits right. from that, and that's what we're trying to do. Are you actually, though, communicating with Coinbase? Again, back to this, you know, it's not often you see a CEO kind of criticize the SEC in the way that uh, Mr. Armstrong chose to. He said, you know, the SEC responded by telling us the lend feature that they have is a security. OK, seems strange. How can lending be a security? So then we asked them to help us understand and share the view. We make an effort to work with them. And he indicates you have no interest in working with them. Is that is that true or is he lying? Let, let me let me take it more to the generic, if you'd understand why I'm not going to get into any one company or one token. Uh, but our, our SEC uh, staff talked to a lot of participants in this market, as we do in other markets as well. And if they come in, ask a question, and I suggest they come in, and something is a security, then work with us to get registered. Now, as it relates to lending products, Lending products uh, for a long time have been part of the securities law. In fact, the first word, the first word in those 30 or 35 things Congress listed in 1930 was note, a note, comma, stock, comma, bond, and it goes on and on. In 1990, the Supreme Court addressed themselves to what is a note that comes under the securities law. So I think that the law is clear. We do work with and talk to many uh, companies and projects in this space. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.